thank you so much for being here today, celebrating my husband, Michael Lee Gerber's birthday. If I cry, forgive the tears. This has been the most extraordinary opportunity for me to put together with this amazing group of people, visionaries all over the world, that are here to say something special to Michael, that the work that he has done for the last 40 years has made such a difference in their lives. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for 100 of you that have created a stunning enterprise, a stunning company, so that you and we can write a book called The E-Myth Experience. The E-Myth the e Experience, it's about people that have read The E-Myth, worked on their business, and created something stunning. Why? Because the world needs to know this information so that we can create an environment 200 years out so that everything that we do today makes a difference 200 years out. And you may say, I'm not going to be around. Or you may say, who's Michael Gerber and why should I care? You better. Because he has a message for you that's beyond anything you have ever heard. And I know you have heard a lot of stuff. Please comment your messages. Please give me your testimonials right now. This is the time for you to tell Michael Gerber that what he has done in your life has made a difference. Thank you so much for those of you that have sent messages to me. We have hundreds of them and you will hear from me so that I can thank you for sharing your love for Michael Lee Gerber. And should we sing happy birthday now? Tamara's right there. I can see her because I can feel her. So why don't we bring Mr. Gerber up here with me and we take this opportunity to say happy birthday. How about that? What a good chat. Great for mm -hmm. you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go down here. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we'll get the chair. Can we just get the chair in yeah. here? Let's do this it. is live, right? This is live. This it's is what happens live. when you go <laughs> live. We're live. Live, live, live. Why don't you sit down, right? There? We're live, honey. That's okay. We're live in front of <laughs> 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 Happy birthday Wow Happy birthday to you my call Today is your birthday and we're here to celebrate you Do it all you had so much <laughs> to do Let's all raise our voices to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, we wish you so much today, all that you've done for us, for all that you will do. And everyone singing together, one, two, three. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! 
Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, all of you. That was really, really <laughs> special. Out of tune, but <laughs> really great. I so appreciate it. So, Rob, who do we have next? Is Brad here? I am here. Good. So, you're going to bring him on. I'm going to step away. Have fun. Thank you, love. All right. Hey, Michael. Happy birthday. Um, this is absolutely amazing. And I have to tell you, like being totally honest with you, I have one birthday on this planet that I probably look forward to more than my own. And that is yours, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had the pleasure of joining you on your 80th birthday in California. A uh, little kid in Kansas City who had no idea he'd be celebrating Michael Gerber's 80th birthday, let alone his 82nd. So I plan on spending a lot more birthdays with you, bud. So uh, I really wanted to tell you happy birthday and uh, just, you know, can't tell you enough how special you are and how you really truly touch people's lives, how you and I met um, two years ago because, you know, I lost my wife a couple years ago, November of 2015, and she was in a coma for five months. And over 20 years ago, I picked up the E-Myth Revisited book. I didn't only read it, and, and I will tell you, I've only read probably three books cover to cover in my life, maybe four. E-Myth Revisited was one of them, thank God, and thank you. Um, I basically implemented your book into my real estate business back then because I was I was mad that I had three little children and I was on a commission only business and uh, they didn't teach us what we needed to know in real estate. And um, I just implemented your book cover to cover. And it 20 years later, which I've been in real estate 26 years now, 20 that 20 years later after I implemented the book, you were able to give me five months in three hours away from Kansas City where I sell real estate and I sold 97 homes that year while I was sitting by Sonia's side in a coma for five months. And I did it with two people back at home. The systems were running my business and actually the two people were less than a year in my business with me. So the system really did carry us. And what I realized was a couple months after Sonia passed, I was literally sitting at my desk just reflecting on things and I looked up at my bookshelf and e -Myth Revisited was right there. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's what it was. Michael Gerber gave me five months with my wife and helped me not have to worry about my car bill, my house payment, which, you know, that became my message is always pushing out of my comfort zone so that when bad things happen, you get sucked back down to comfortable. I was comfortable. I spent that time with her doing everything I could. And, and all I did was Google your name, picked up the phone, dialed a phone number, and you called me back. And in that conversation, you asked me if I was the guy. And I don't know that I really thought I was the guy. And you told me I was the guy for real estate and asked me to write the book, E-Myth Real Estate Agent, which we're about ready to release. So hopefully that's a good birthday present for you to see another book come out and another student to take E-Myth um, into their life and provide the lifestyle and everything I've done for all my girls and my family. And like I just mentioned, it's uh, it, it's been a wild ride and I hope I have a lot more birthdays with you because I just met you a couple years ago. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. All right, you want me to go for a couple more minutes? Because I got more I could tell him. <laughs> Love you, Michael. Love you, Brad. Thank you so much. Our next person is Willem. I can say that. All you knew to do is say it, and I could say it. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Gerber. Uh, this is a great honor for me today to wish you a happy birthday. It's your 80th, second birthday, 
And I actually just met you a few months ago. And today I have the honor to um, say happy birthday. How great is that? Um, it is a great honor to meet you and, and your wife, Liz Delia. A few months ago, I called your office and I said, hey, I want to talk to this guy that um, meant so much for me and my family. And uh, I got to talk to you and you and Miss Delia said I can uh, fly down to your home in uh, California. And then I flew down and I met you that day. And um, two, three months later, here I am wishing you happy birthday. I just want to thank you for what you have done for me and my family. Me and my wife, we have eight children. And um, your book, The E-Myth, had an immense impact in our lives. And uh, it is such an honor to get to know this man who wrote this book many, many years ago. And when I read the book the first time, I had no clue what this is going to um, impact it have in my, in my business. And when I started my business in 2009, I knew the principles of your book, uh, The E-Myth, what I need to do to grow from a technician to a manager to an entrepreneur. And I use the principles of building the systems in my business so that I can build from one location to two locations, three and four locations. And you taught me how to work on your business and not in your business. So today, that's what I do to continue building my business. And um, these important principles that I've learned in your book has helped me to provide college for my oldest son and three of my two of my daughters and my other son that's going to go to college right now and all this wouldn't have happened for you and this book that you wrote um, many many years ago so I just want to thank you today on your 82nd birthday how thankful I am and my whole family is thankful for what you've done for us. And on this, currently I'm working with you and uh, Ms. Delia in the dream room, and I'm excited to see what uh, we're gonna come up in the next uh, few years. And I appreciate everything that you and Ms. Delia do for us. Happy birthday. Thank you, Willem. Thank you very much. Hey, Donovan. Donovan is next. See how easy it is? <laughs> hey, Michael. Happy birthday. It's great. Well, thank you, Donovan. Good to see you in person today. Can't wait till Friday to celebrate with you face to face. Uh, so, thank you, Liz Delia, for inviting me to uh, say happy birthday here today. Uh, it's actually 10, 10 summers ago, 10 years ago, it's when I was first introduced to the AMIF. It was the first book I downloaded on my Kindle. And it's the book I always recommend to anybody I meet as the most important business book you have to read. Um, because it tells you exactly how to you know, follow your dreams and, and how to build something that will last and how to build a business that works for you rather than you working for the business. <clears throat> When I first read it, it was truly eye-opening, and there were many, you know, hat-slapping moments of like, how, why didn't I think of this myself? And it really taught me how to take a step back uh, to work on the business rather than in the business, which is such a simple thing to say and such a difficult thing to do without a constant reminder. And when I spoke to some of our own clients, it really inspired me to build our business today that you are helping us with every you know, two weeks, which is a real privilege. And, you know, I was reflecting on what I was going to say today and something that I think everybody else can learn from as well. And I said, we've been lucky enough to meet with you every two weeks this year to work on our business, which has been, you know, mind-blowing and overwhelming every two weeks. But the three key takeaways I've had so far is, one, uh, don't be greedy. Uh, you know, about four weeks ago, you know, you hammer that into our heads. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. You know, as entrepreneurs, we're super impatient, right? We want to do everything today. Uh, but it's a process and it takes time to build a proper business and take one step at a time and trust that the next step will reveal itself as you go through the process. 
you know, don't bend too easily. As you implement these systems and you start growing your business, lots of people have advice, but stay true to yourself. You know, the system works. If you follow the EMIF step by step, you're going to have an amazing business. And lots of people have different ideas, but just stay true to it and you'll be successful, guaranteed. And then very early on in our journey with Michael, uh, one of the first things he did was to take a step back and figure out what are your customers really buying. And I think that alone uh, changed our business. Uh, when we were struggling with our business until we met Michael a few months ago, and like the other people, we picked up the phone, we called. We didn't really expect anything back, but five minutes later, who was there on the line? Mr. Gerber himself. And the first lesson was you know, try to discover what your people, what your customers are really buying. Because once you know that, you can simplify your messaging. We did that, and our message, our company started growing basically you know, the next day again. So thank you, Michael, for everything you've done. Thank you for taking a you know, chance on us. And I can't wait to celebrate with you in person on Friday. Thank you, Donovan. And for everybody who's listening in, Donovan's company is 17 hats. I don't think he mentioned that. That's just like that. Company. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Hideki. Hi. Hi, Hideki Mr. Kobayashi. Yes, uh, Mr. Gerber. Happy birthday to you. Um, it's 7.30 a.m. in Japan. Uh, we're very honored to um, be able to join this um, special day. Uh, Mrs. Rustaya Gerber kindly uh, invited us to uh, celebrate this very special day. Um, more than anything, uh, we have so much um, appreciation all these years. You touched our life and our Japanese hearts in very special and meaningful way. And to be able to uh, congratulate you for your birthday together live which is so amazing. Uh, we're so honored. We are simply um, happy for you. Uh, happy birthday to you, Mr. Grover. And this is uh, Kunihiko Ando. I'd like to tell you a message. Happy birthday, Mr. Grover. Thank you. Yes. And when I, when I met uh, uh, Michael for the first time, um, it was through uh, EMIS he visited. And as we read through the book, um, I had unbelievable experience that it was like a um, big thunder lightning has stroke into my heart. Then it didn't take me that long for me to, um, with my intuition, that it was missing piece for um, all the small business in Japan. And I could not wait to uh, knock on the door of becoming a facilitator. And we became a facilitator in 2010 and 11. And Mr. Gerber, there's something we need to know. Um, those Dreaming Room uh, graduates had become more successful than ever before today. And Michael's uh, genius uh, learned from a dreaming room is their standard axis of the heart of the business, even today, after all these years. And this experience um, had made, made us assure ourselves that, you know, our intuition about Mr. Gerber was so right. And our life has changed. Also, as uh, business, you know, changed. And now we need to change. Well, in Japan, Japan has a problem with um, declining birth rate and aging population. So I think the way of the small business operated in Japan will become the key for uh, Japan, Japan survival. Uh, that's, this lead me to say, uh, we need more Mike Gerber in Japan, more than ever before. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Gerber. Um, we love you so much from Japan. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to see you here and I'm delighted we're working together to transform the state of small business in Japan and to create an economic development methodology that will literally transform your lives. I'm, I'm also moved by your strong energy and continuous passion. All of your amazing, remarkable voice were always ringing in my ear through years continuously, like a record player, you know, and the music. <laughs> <laughs> music fade out in the end but as I'm getting older your voice is just getting stronger <laughs> ever before and always stimulate my inner feeling gives me like an opportunity to uh, reflect deeply into my life and he showed us a new way of living of life in a better way you know 
you have expanded my potential, our potential. And now it comes down to the bigger question, you know, dream of Japan. How can we expand our potential of enter Japan? I suppose we need to replicate Mr. Gerber, every city in Japan across the country to do the same. Well, that's really lead us to congratulate your birthday and also your birth of a online school radical you. And that way, Michael E. Gerber, 24 hours in everywhere, anytime. <laughs> <We love it. laughs> Thank you, Hideki. And my wife also, Luz Delia, also says that I'm a recording that never stops. <laughs> yeah. she, she hears my voice continuously. <laughs> Okay, so that thank has you. something to say. <laughs> this gentleman right here, Mr. Ando, he is Hideki's partner. And the, this couple, these two amazing people have been in a relationship with us for the last... Am I supposed to be looking here? <laughs> okay. um, these two gentlemen have been in relationship with us for the last seven years. And they are taking Michael Lee Gerber companies and radical youth to Japan. So I am so honored that you are here standing. And I know, Mr. Ando, I know you do not understand too much of what we're saying. Hideki will interpret everything for you. And your job is to translate everything that you hear so that you can share with the people. And you tell those people in Japan, I'm waiting for them. Certainly. We'll do that. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting us. OK, he's yours. Thank you, dear. Bye, Michael. I'm sorry. Ruben. Rudy, thank you. <laughs> All you have to do, uh, Rob. Rob. All you have to do is introduce them. And hey, I'll Michael. just. Happy birthday. Thank you, Rudy. <laughs> it's uh, really uh, an honor to be here today. And uh, on behalf of our good friend, Steve Olds, who's the president of Patriot Mission, um, I, I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for him. Um, you know, I first met Michael uh, a few years back. Uh, I, was, uh, I, just re I retired from the Navy after 30 years of service. And I first met Michael at an event in Boston, uh, at a Patriot Mission event in Boston. I was like, who is this? Who is Michael E. Gerber? I had no idea what I was getting myself into back then. And I will tell you, um, as a veteran, it, it's been such an honor to get to, to know him and lose Dahlia uh, over the past few years. You know, I think for me, what's, uh, you know, I want to thank you, Michael, is that you know, when I, they kind of had to push me out of the service. I wasn't ready to go. And, and part of being in the military was that, hey, you know, I, I really loved um, serving the, the, uh, the military personnel that were there and, and serving our country. And, and I was, I was really kind of sad because I knew that that part of my life was going to be over. And part of what happened was that, uh, through Steve Olds and Michael E. Gerber, I was able to, to say, hey, my service to the country isn't over. It's just a different uniform. So, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's very rewarding to be able to, to continue that, uh, you know, after 30 years. And, you know, kind of the, what's been inspiring uh, to see is that, you know, no matter what age, you can get started. You know, and I'm really proud to be able to, to say I'm, I'm currently uh, embarking on a new venture right now, which is uh, to do veteran outreach and, and, and reach out to the, all the new veterans. There's about 200,000 that are separating from the military every year and, uh, and working with Steve Olds and Michael to, to reach out to the veterans and show them there's an opportunity out there uh, to continue to do and give back to their country and to their families. So I, I'm really blessed to be part of this, and I really look forward to, to uh, working with you in the future. Thank you, Rudy. You might tell them also, Rudy, what you did in the military. I think it would be a great help. 
Sure. I was uh, with in the Navy for um, 30 years. I was a I retired as a Navy captain. Uh, I was actually a ship captain several times. And then I was a uh, former Commodore of a destroyer squadron. And I guess the last big mission that I uh, helped with was when we uh, when we helped out uh, after the Haiti earthquake. I was on board the USNS Comfort, which was the hospital ship. And I was in charge of that mission. Uh, that was part of the, the relief effort down there in Haiti. So um, to be able, and with such a, a global event and to see that live, to be able to, to help that country was tremendous. And, and that feeling that you get when you can help, uh, you know, help someone is something you never forget. And, you know, the, and then to watch what the uh, military personnel are doing every day uh, you know, and the sacrifices they make, uh, you know, it's important that I continue to help, um, uh, and help give back to the, to the military personnel that have served over the years. So thank you, Michael. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Tim. Hello, Michael. Can Hello, Dewey. Uh, so, um, so Tam and and Dui here from Australia, wishing you a happiest birthday. We want to say thank you for being such a powerful influence on our lives and on our business. Thank you for giving us clarity and direction through working with you, the transformation in us as people and in our company has been a miracle. Thank you for working closely with us in creating good consequences, an extraordinary company it's the story about millions of people just like us, our young family, when we first started with absolutely nothing. So working with you, Michael, we realize that ordinary people like us, like me and my son sitting here, can create extraordinary companies. And that is something that was impossible to us before. So having arrived in Australia as a young refugee at the age of 14, with nothing, not even one word of English, I want to say to our people in the Vietnamese community who happen to follow Michael, that they too can create extraordinary companies. And they can start right here at Radical U. We have never worked with anyone who is so serious about our success, who is so dedicated to the fact that we must succeed. You have been an incredible mentor and we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Happy birthday, Michael. Thank you. Thank you, Tam. Thank you, Dewey. You touch my heart every time we meet you're such extraordinarily avid students. You take our work so seriously. I couldn't do what I do with you were you not the ones who do it with me. So we're in it together. And that goes for every single one of you, every single one of the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people 
like Tam, like his son Dewey, like Brad, like Rudy Lacombe, like Steve Olds. It just goes on and on and on and on, and it's always brand new. It's a gift from God. It's always brand new. You are brand new. So thank you, Tam. You touch my heart. Thank you, Michael. And who is that? Julian. And where is Julian? Oh, first off, congratulations on your 82 years of wonderful life. I'd like to thank you for inviting me to say a couple words. Um, you're a great man. You're always passionate about your work with legendary accomplishments. Um, you're always ready for new challenges, whether it be challenges on your own or with, with us and you're always ready to go through them with us. Um, so thank you for that. I was 17 years old when um, last year in January and I didn't know what to do. And I decided that I wanted to start my own company. So my mom realized and she pulled out your book and she said, let's follow this guy's systems. Let's do what he says. So we were going along your book and in March we found out that you were given this dreaming room. And at first I was a bit hesitant. I didn't know what it was gonna be like. I was again, 17 years old and a bit, you know, I thought it was gonna be boring <laughs> in honest words. And as soon as I got there, I realized that it was something completely different. I realized that, you know, it was interesting, that it was fun, that, wow, things can be done. And I involved myself. And when I met with you afterwards, I realized that you were so passionate even you know, about it. And so throughout this year, um, since last March, we've done great things. You've worked with me. You've encouraged me. You've um, brought me up when I was down and discouraged. And you're so always there ready to um, help me through anything. And it's just really an honor to be able to work with you. And I'm, to call you my business coach and friend. And, and I can, you know, for myself, I love you. I love Luz Deli. And I can truly say the same thing um, for my family as well, that, you know, you're a very loved man from us. So thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, Julian. And thank you for taking it on. Thank you for taking it on as fully as you've taken it on, even though at times you felt like you're swimming in the dark. Um, you are swimming in the dark, but isn't it wonderful? You still swim. At 19 years old, it's it feels great. It's, it's <laughs> been a lot of fun, and and I can't wait to for the next few years on continuing our journey uh, together and building a na worldwide company. So, and Julian, there'll be many millions of 19 year olds joining you in this extraordinary venture of yours. So thank you for joining us. Of course, thank you, Michael. Thank and Julian. You. Yes, ma'am. I want you to know that you're my youngest entrepreneur. <laughs> you're gonna kick ass and take names. <laughs> yes, we are. They're gonna belong to me. <laughs> Let's do it. That's the goal, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> thank you for playing with us. I appreciate you. Thank you. Ivan is next. Ivan Meisner. Hello, my friend. How are you? Oh, wonderful, Ivan. You're looking so terrific. <laughs> you too. And I saw Luce Delia a moment ago. Hello to Luce Delia. It's wonderful <laughs> to have seen you as well. Uh, hey, look, um, Michael, uh, you've done so much. Uh, you know, about 30 years ago, uh, I had an opportunity to read this book. And uh, that book absolutely changed my life and it changed my business. Uh, look, I, I did the work, but you created the roadmap. The e-myth paved the road for more people than I think you'll ever know. 
But I want you to know this, Michael, the impact your work had on my company had a, a massive ripple effect, a ripple effect that I think helped many, many, not tens of thousands, but hundreds of thousands of people in my organization. And the net result is that your work has influenced millions and millions of people and many other people owe a debt of gratitude to you. Uh, I followed that roadmap that you gave in the book. And um, as a result, I now have 8,000, 8, that's just mind boggling to me, 8,450 BNI groups all around the world. And I am often asked, so what did you do when you started? How did you think about scaling the book? And I'm telling you, Michael, I, I know that people are buying your book because I constantly say to them, you got to get a copy of the EMIT. That's the book that I used to help build my business. Thanks. Thank you so much, Michael. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Ivan. And everybody, if you didn't catch the name of Ivan's company, it's BNI. <clears throat> Ivan took that from a handful of people to 8,248, I believe the number is, um, around the world. <clears throat> extraordinary leader, an extraordinary teacher, and truly a man who's take, taken to heart the work that we've done and taken it out to the hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of people BNI has touched. So congratulations, Ivan, and um, thank you for being here. Thank you, Michael. We love you. Fred Parrish. Fred Parrish, our co-author of the E-Myth Chief Financial Officer. Hello, Fred. Hi, Michael. Happy birthday. Thank it's, you. Uh, it's great to see you. Uh, it, you know, I've told you before that uh, you and I met uh, more than 10 years before you actually wrote the first E-Myth book. And <laughs> it's kind of an odd story, but uh, for everyone uh, listening, I actually worked at McDonald's when I was in high school and I just was enamored by the structure and the, the way that company operates. And lo and behold, uh, no one is probably surprised. I became an accountant after that. And uh, then it was in the uh, early 2000s when I picked up your book, uh, The E-Myth Revisited, and it just brought everything together as, as far as what I was trying to do in my company, create really a standardized way of helping small companies manage their financial dynamics. And so the E-Myth put it all into context. And, and you know, Michael, we've had that conversation before. Uh, and so I love telling that story. And, and you and I met a couple of years ago, exactly to the day on your 80th birthday, uh, when we did that webcast. And I was fortunate enough to be one of the, the 10 people who got to talk to you directly. And I had only known you through uh, print at that point. But, uh, you know, since then, we have spent a lot of time together talking, uh, building strategy and uh, working. I've been working with Luz Delia quite a lot. Uh, we, as you said, we, we have our new book coming out literally any day now. And I, I think our relationship has developed. We've become family, at least. Uh, you know, in, in my mind, uh, I, I can't imagine my life without you and Luz Delia in it. And so, you know, I want to thank you for that. That's, that's been a very important aspect of uh, doing what we've been doing. It, it is much stronger relationship than uh, just business. And uh, just a real quick story, uh, Michael, you don't know this, but we, we were on a call probably, I don't know, nine months ago, six or eight months ago. And uh, it was with a number of uh, people on our team. And we were, we were talking about a few things and then Michael started talking and uh, just the, the, the wisdom and the genius of Michael Gerber, everyone on this uh, webcast knows what I'm talking about. And, and Michael, you'll, you'll find this uh, very uh, humorous, I think. 
I got a text from one of our team during this, uh, this uh, dissertation that you were giving. And, and the text said, is he reading this? And I said, no, that is, that's Michael. That's a stream of consciousness. Just listen, pay attention. Everything will be good. So I, I love that story. We tell that story a lot. Uh, so I thought you would like to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Fred. And Fred, yes, we're um, just as Brad, the co-author of the E-Myth Real Estate Agent, whose book will be out in a couple of months. Yours should be out any day now. Um, right. the, these books um, have a profound impact on every vertical market, but your book is the first of its kind, the first e-myth of its kind, um, speaking to a function, the function called chief financial officer, and the profound meaning of that role in every business on the planet. So it's a significant departure from anything we've done before. And we're thrilled to be able to do that with you. As you know, I've introduced you to mentees of ours to bring the chief financial officer modality into their mindset so that they can begin to think like that as opposed to um, simply depend upon their bookkeeper or their accountant to do the necessary things that have to be done. This is so far beyond accounting um, as, um, well, as, uh, I can't describe the, the immensity of it, but everybody here who's built a successful enterprise knows that the role of a chief financial officer is the foundational and principal role to understand the relationship between operations and capital, as well as the true um, result one is setting out to create and how to fashion that economically to produce a stunning result. So I'm delighted we're working together and every single individual who's been here and has said their great words are going to be thrilled to get to know you as well. Well, I appreciate that, Michael. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, we've got some really big plans for the book. Wonderful. So thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, Lucilla Gerber again, next to this <laughs> handsome guy here. So now Brian Scudamore is on a, on a plane somewhere in the world. And so he is gifting us with a little video to let you know how grateful he is for this work that this guy has done. And if you want to find out more about Brian Scudamore, 1 800 Got Junk, or O2 E, O2 -E Brands, his new franchise company, check him out on our website. Brian? Hello, Michael. Brian Scudamore here from 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Here to wish you a happy birthday, 82 years old. I wanted to reach out to you. I know I was invited to be at your special birthday celebration. Couldn't be there in person, so this short little video will have to do. But I wanted to thank you for all your years of serving entrepreneurs. The E-Myth Revisited, I tell all my friends, colleagues, anyone I meet, that if they haven't missed the, haven't read the E-Myth, they're crazy, they gotta read it. It's the most impactful business book I have ever read. Thank you for your love and support in our business. Everything you've done over the years, you inspired me to franchise. You taught me to take my business from ordinary to exceptional through great systems and processes. We're building a company that's all about people, we have the systems and support from you, the inspiration. So thank you. Happy birthday wishes. 82 years. Here's to 82 more if that's possible. If it is, you could make it happen. I hope you have a great birthday. And uh, thanks again, Michael. That's wonderful. Who are we speaking to next? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So I want to speak to you about the eightfold path from a company of one to a company of 1,000. To grow a small company, 
calls for several essential ingredients. First is passion. You've got to want to like crazy. Second is determination. You've got to possess the will to pursue it like crazy. And third is the way. You've got to possess the process for pursuing it, what we have designated as the Eightfold Path. The Eightfold Path comprises a definitive series of eight consecutive steps we've identified over the past 40 years in our work, assisting now over 100,000 small business owner clients we've worked with. You can find them in over 145 countries where those we refer to as our 100,000 have applied and are applying our protocol toward the evolution of their small companies on their way to healthy, inspiring growth. Without the eightfold path, they couldn't do it. With the eightfold path, they've been provided with a process enabling them to go to work on their company, not just in their company, to become what we call a great growing company, and in the process to transform their lives, the lives of those they love, and the lives of their customers and clients in their business community. Allow me to share the Eightfold Path with you. It lives at the heart of what we now call Radical You. See your economic path as the creation of an economic engine which produces capital in a continuing, hopefully effulgent manner. Most of us see economics as the ideal career working for others, producing income, that income being used through investment in perhaps a 401k or the stock market to produce profit which in turn becomes capital over a long period of time, which when we arrive at retirement age can become the asset our old years turn into income for the rest of our and our children's lives. The eightfold path is the alternative way to that well-worn idea. The eightfold path is the path of what we call the new entrepreneur. It says that instead of a job, every single one of us can become, should become, a new entrepreneur. That instead of seeking a job, we should be looking to become radically self-employed. Creating our very own company of one, and then turning that economic engine into a company of 1,000. The Eightfold Path provides the process for doing just that. Rather than trying to convince you that you should proceed down that path, rather than the career I discussed briefly above, allow me to have a simple explanation of it, what it is, how it works, and why. If you already own a small company or are committed to create one, the eightfold path is the sole and solitary means through which you should grow it. It begins with a dream. The first step in the eightfold path at Radical You is your dream. At the outset of your company of one, you have to fuel it with a dream. What's a dream? It's the great result you intend to produce by forming your company of one and then growing it. It's about the market you're determined to serve. At the outset of my company, Michael E. Gerber Companies, way back then in 1977, my dream was, and it still is, to transform the state of small business worldwide. We've been busy pursuing that dream, fulfilling that dream, nourishing that dream ever since. Radical You is the means for bringing that dream to life in millions of individuals' lives worldwide at a cost and through a method everyone can afford and do. The second step in the Eightfold Path at Radical You is your vision. Now that you know what your dream is, the second step is to discover what your vision is. Your vision is the form your new company will take in order to realize its dream. 
at Michael E. Gerber Companies way back then in 1977, my vision was to invent the McDonald's of small business consulting. Why McDonald's? Because that's the most successful small business in the world. Not only that, but because it provided me with the turnkey model, which I could replicate to bring the intelligence, knowledge, systems, and passion every small business owner needs in order to design, build, launch, and grow their small company. Just like Ray Kroc did as a 52-year-old new entrepreneur at McDonald's. Think about that. 52 years old, starting out as a new entrepreneur with no experience to guide him. He started out McDonald's with a vision in his mind. The beauty of that is so can you, so can everyone. The third step in the eightfold path in Radical You is your purpose. Your purpose is the profound impact your company intends to have on your most important customer or client. At Michael E. Gerber Companies, our purpose was to enable every small business owner called to our method to become as successful in their business as a McDonald's franchisee has been. Not so easy to do, but we've done it tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of times. But let's go on to the fourth step. The fourth step in the eightfold path at Radical U is your mission. Your mission is to invent the stunningly effective operating system at the heart of your growing enterprise. At Michael E. Gerber Companies way back then in 1977, we invented the small business development system that has stood at the heart of our E-Myth Mastery program. Today at Radical U, we've grown far beyond that system and transformed it to make it affordable and available to everyone. The fifth step in the eightfold path at Radical U is your job and your client fulfillment system. Now it's time to go to work on your company of one to create your client fulfillment system. It's what you deliver to your customer or your client. Way back then in 1977, I called it the Michael Thomas Business Development Program. Today, it's the eightfold path at Radical U. Back then, we delivered it by telephone and a business development coach. Today, we deliver it online 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, through 52 weekly video sessions, walking our students through the eightfold path to design, build, launch, and grow a company of one to a company of 1,000. Back then, we charged a monthly tuition of about $1,500 per month. Today, we charge an annual one-time tuition of only $479.40. Yes, oh, yeah. that's $479.40. Once each year. Wow, has time changed us. Wow, has life been transformed for you. The sixth step in the eightfold path at Radical U is your practice and your client acquisition system. So now that your client fulfillment system is documented and scalable, now it's time to wrap your head around attracting and securing a flood of new clients to deliver it to. We call that your client acquisition system. We call that your practice. See it as your three-legged stool, lead generation, lead conversion, client fulfillment, your franchise prototype, the core operating system of your ready-to-scale growing company. Think McDonald's and you'll immediately understand what I mean. This is your store, ready to deliver, ready to replicate. In 1977, we had guys walking down the street calling on every small business in sight. Today, we've got social media, 
TV, and radio. Ain't life grand. The seventh step in the eightfold path at Radical U is your business and your turnkey management system. What's a business? It's a practice times seven. Seven three-legged stools plus a turnkey management system. The eighth step in the eightfold path at Radical U is your enterprise and your turnkey leadership system. What's an enterprise? It's a business times seven, which equals 49 three-legged stools, plus a turnkey management system, plus a turnkey leadership system. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our eightfold path. And that is Radical You, a dream, a vision, a purpose, a mission, a job, a practice, a business, and an enterprise an almost infinitely scalable enterprise. Step one through step eight. And to learn it so you can do it, all you need to do is to say, Michael, I'm in and we'll start. You in a class of one, wherever you are, whatever you choose to create, anytime, day or night, welcome to Radical You. Welcome to your great growing company. This is Michael E. Gerber speaking to you from Carlsbad, California, the land that God created just for me and just for you on my 82nd year. Thank you for joining me. And that goes for all of us. Now, are you ready to have a party? <laughs> Let me tell you, let's get this thing done. I have a surprise for Michael because we have family here. We have little babies over there. And I would love for those little babies to come up and say something to Grand Michael. So Amethyst, let's start with you. Hi, Michael. Say hi, Grand Michael. Hello, Amethyst. <laughs> Birthday. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Hello. We're here to wish you a happy, happy 82nd birthday. We love you so, so much. Um, so very happy that we get to be in your lives and you in ours. We love that you unconditionally love our mama and support her so very much. And here on behalf of my sisters, Lynette and Lavinas, we love you, love you, love you. I feel you, so incredibly you, honored you. You. <laughs> that I have been around you and have seen the impact that you have on so many people. I am also have been reluctantly hearing your advice for so long, and <laughs> now I'm taking it to a whole new level. I get to play with you guys on the team. I get to be the lucky one who sees all the incredible stories that come in of people you've changed their lives, people who spill their guts on not knowing what to do next, and um, you just get to transform them every day. I'm wowed by it. I feel so very lucky. I get to call you my coach. I also get to be a student of Radical You, and I get to absorb it in a whole different way by being able to deliver your message as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being you, um, for being in our lives, for loving my mama and my sisters and myself. We love you. Happy, happy birthday. Thank Kingston. you, Amethyst. Kingston, do you want to say something? <laughs> say do you want to say something to Grand Echo? Say Grand Echo. Yes. <laughs> and what Amethyst didn't say is <laughs> A radical view. So you'll get to see her share with you how you need to transform your lives. So thank you so very much. And then next we have Hillary. Is she still here? Hillary left. Shh. Melina. Okay, so we have Melina, who's part of our team. And I'm going to share with you why this part is so important. So this is Melina and her two little angels. Melina, you're on. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, trying to wrangle all the kids. Happy birthday, Michael. Thank you, Melina. Uh, it's so great to be here. It's so inspiring to hear everybody's stories that have been successful, that have followed the methods. Uh, my husband and I are just now in the infancies of dreaming our future you know, uh, endeavors. So it's so great to be part of it, to be working with Luz Delia. I recently uh, enrolled into Radical U myself. 
I can see I'm a busy mom. <laughs> so it's it's great to be able to do my lessons in between feedings in the middle of the night at my own time uh, on our own schedule. So it's just great to be part of the uh, the the family here of my Philly Gerber. <laughs> so Thank we're you, thankful Monday. for all that we're thankful for all that you've done, all the seeds that you have sown, and uh, it's multiplying. It's multiplying to the future generations. Uh, I met you maybe eight or ten years ago when I was single and didn't really care about my future so much in in business or financially but now i'm married with two babies and my husband and i we're we're dreaming we're thinking about our future so we're so thankful to have the tools available to us so thank you for all you do and happy thank birthday you, thank you <laughs> and you guys out there who are watching and listening why this is important because these little three babies that you see here and the two of Hillary who left, Hillary is one of Michael's children. These are the kids that we're working for. These are the kids that have to really prepare for our future. And I urge you to please, I don't have the book. Where's the book? Smith book. Please go to our comment area and please give us your comments. Tell us if you're stuck. Tell us if you're suffering. Wherever you are, this is really important that we hear what's happening with you so that we design this online school so that you can have a future that is not present here today. I urge you to connect with us so that we can work with you. There you go. <laughs> okay, so what else do we do? Do we party? Do we go have some champagne? What do we do? Oh, Risha wants me to read some of the comments. Okay, excuse me a minute. Where are they? Right here. Well, do you want to read them? They're big well, enough. He can that's see. That's the problem. It's going to be hard. What, why don't since we have an extra, a little bit of extra time? Why don't they put some questions in there right now? Yeah, Ron, can we do that? Can we have the audience just go ahead and shoot some questions to us and Michael can read them or you can read them for us and then Michael can answer them? Don't you think of that. Nani. Yes, sweetheart. Can I tell you something? Sure. What are you doing? <laughs> What am I doing? I'm sitting over here with Grand Eichel. Sitting over here with, sitting over here with your three thousand kids. Yeah, there's a lot of kids out there. There's are a you, lot. Um, yeah, are, you, are you talking about me? I am so happy about <laughs> you. You people don't even know that you're my only grandson. There's nothing there. Kingston. Yay! Hey, Can you imagine? Hey. Okay. I love you guys. Okay, so. Some Coming in with some questions. Rob, will you read? All right. Yeah, I'm going to get the other phone. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Where's the, where's the other phone? We need a bigger one, though. That's the thing. So when... Okay, Michael, tell them something. <laughs> <laughs> tell them something. Right, what Michael. can I say? Here we go. Here it comes, so. If it's large enough, let's micro-read them. All right, we're, this isn't the last. We're coming, you guys. Oh. All right, let's see here. So let's see. Explain the importance of dreaming. One question, can you explain the importance of where, dreaming? Where are they? You, you won't be able to do that, honey. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Explain the purpose of dreaming. <laughs> So somebody's asking the question, explain the purpose of dreaming. The purpose of dreaming is to know where you're going and why you're going there. The purpose of dreaming is to put meaning into your life and to extend that meaning throughout the rest of your life to discover the one thing you're here to do. So if it's been said, and it has, that we're born in the image of God, then it means that we're born to create. And if we're born to create, the question then naturally is asked, so what am I here to create? Well, if you listen to Tam and listen to his, um, his heart describing the difference between not knowing where you're going 
and to suddenly have a reason for going there, you understand the power of a dream. Every single human being is meant to have a dream, their own dream, your personal dream, the dream that's moving you to become what you're here to become. Second question. Yeah, I just enrolled in Radical View. I have been struggling in poverty my whole life. I overcame addiction and there's more here. Then I started a business I like. I hit a wall until I was transformed by Emeth Contractor back in January. Tell us about the course Radical You. Well, first of all, thank you for sharing the obstacles that you've been blessed with, um, the impoverishment, um, the inability to go beyond where you are, the impossibility of the forces that appear against you. Understand every single person on this call has had identically the same experiences. They may not seem as um, the same as yours, but in fact, individually, they experience them the same. So I'm blessed that you've read the E-Myth Contractor, and we're blessed that we're able to do something now um, to enable you to realize your dream, your vision, your purpose, your mission. The words I'm going to share with you about Radical You um, is what Donovan um, regarded when he spoke earlier, when I said to him, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy, meaning don't want it all right now. Um, take on this gift, which is what radical you truly is, not a gift from me to you, but a gift from God to us, to take this gift on step by singular, step by singular step. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry to get anything done. Understand that your dream, your vision, your purpose, and your mission need to be seeded to the point where they come alive within you. You can't force feed this process. It's here to feed you. So thank you for your great question. I'm thrilled you're at Radical You. Take your time with it. Take your time with it. Take your time with it, and you'll be blessed. I swear you'll be blessed. Thank you for the question. Great. So I'm going to say thank you to you all. We're actually finishing a little early because some of these guys didn't say as much as I expected them to say. <laughs> but you can go ahead and send me your comments. Please let me know what's going on with you. Tell me the story that you have had. Remember, I'm looking for 100 of you to write this book. And we're going to complete. If you have any questions, send them to us. We will answer all your questions, either online or through Michael. And please, please, please comment. Let us know your conversations. Let us know where you are. And I'm going to have Michael complete this party here and share his final thoughts and have him invite you as he has a gift for you. Yes. Um, well, uh, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. I want to specifically thank Rob, who's uh, managed to handle all of this production for us. I want to thank Richard um, for making this happen. I want to thank um, Lorand for making this possible. I want to thank Dan, who's working with us at Radical U intensely, intensely, purposely creating a process that will blow everybody's mind. Um, most of all, I want to thank Luz Delia Gerber, because we wouldn't be speaking here today if it had not been for Luz Delia Gerber. I keep on telling her, no more parties, Luz Delia, no more parties. And she just doesn't listen. 
But that's Louis Zelia Gerber. This is Mike Lee Gerber speaking to you from Carlsbad, California, the land that God created just for me and just for you. I love you all. We'll see you all soon. I think we have a gift we're supposed to reward yes. you with. Tell them about the gift. What is the gift? They have to go to radical you forward slash invite. We're inviting you to come and play with us. And Michael has a little gift for you there. Thank you so much for celebrating my husband and his 82nd birthday. And I promise I never will give him a party <laughs> where we have a band and we don't dance. But wasn't this a hell of a party? Let's get this thing done. <laughs> Thank you all. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.